This is a short film about collecting gum nuts in the bush for future harvesting of the seeds they contain. This is done so as to grow new seedlings for future planting at the property. Today we're in the bush. We've um, got the, our bags. I've got the, some secretaires. We're going to go and find some gum nuts in the bush. This is uh, a, a yellow gum and uh, you can tell because of the smooth bark and lots of other features but obviously a lot of the gum nuts are going to be way up there we can't get so we've got to scavenge. Sometimes you look for branches on the ground and the gum nuts have to be brown and a bit hard. We've got this bag, it's just easy to throw things in. So we'll go walk, we'll just go for a walk and see what we can find. So we've found what uh, this branch has fallen off and you can check the type of bark it is because you want to make sure you know which tree it's fallen from and so we can identify so you can come up, you can come up close you'll see the different the gum nut shapes so we can identify them later and they're perfect so what we'll do is we'll just load up in our bag Throw them in here. You just break the, break the branches and throw them in, and we'll harvest them all later on. So you need a good sturdy bag. Um, of course, when you go out, you want to be well dressed. I always take good boots, and um, I take a photo of this branch and this location, so I can mark in the bags where this where these uh, gum nuts are from. So it's important to note where you get them from and what type of tree it is. Uh, so you just keep a good record so when you do your replanting, you plant the tree in the right location. You wouldn't want to put this tree, these seedlings when they grow in a wet gully because this land here, if you could just take a bit of film of this, it's all a slope, it's sloping. So it's, it's, it's up on this type of soil, not in wet soil. So, very important to give the seedlings a bit of a chance. So, I'm just going to collect a whole lot of branches. This is a good, good pickings, but as I said, it's on the ground. You know, you find a lot of them on the ground like this. Just harvesting these gum nuts now. There's lots of them. If you could come forward a little bit so you could just see them on the, on the branch but they're nice and dry and they come off pretty easily. You just pick them like that. They just fall off and you can always identify what type of gum it is by the shape of the gum nut. Uh, up close you can see they've got different openings and different shapes. And there's uh, a lot of the times there's a certain number that grow off the little stems here. So there's all these telltale signs even if you can't identify the tree um, uh, when you're out in the field you can normally do it sometimes you take a leaf some leaves as well and that helps identify so there you go so i'm going to collect some more now so this is a tree a seedling i planted it was about so high maybe about four months ago and you can see around here i've cleaned up a whole lot of pines and replanting with the seedlings. So I just got to get rid of the pines and replant. Fortunately there was already a bit of established trees here. So this one, this is the tree guards. This will be film five, we'll get around to that eventually. But that's how the seedlings are coming on after about four months. So it's, it's, it's more than doubled in size. So these are the tree guards, but that'll be for film five. But I just wanted to show you in film one where we're gonna where we're gonna end up. So we'll get to this point. This is uh, I think this is a yellow gum this one. Anyway, we'll get to that in film five. Thanks.